So, you want to take a look at Magic of Voxel in 2021. Well, I don't know why you clicked on this video, because this video is about how to make pancakes. Hey guys, welcome back to Test by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back in Magic of Voxel. It's literally been, like, years. Um, we haven't used Magic of Voxel in a while, so I figure we do a little bit of a quick little fun, uh, not recap, but kind of, like, reimagining on the channel of Magic of Voxel in 2021. Let's do a street. I'm going to make a street. Um, let's do a street. All right. So we're making a nice little dark gray color. And I'm just going to fill the bottom. There we go. Yes. It looks awesome. All right. Cool. Um, and then on the left and right hand sides, I'm going to make a lighter. Oh, no, no, no. We have to, I forgot about this. Okay. You have to go to a different color. Then we have to make a lighter silver. There we go. And lighter silver color with a little bit of blue in there. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and paint. Yeah, like that cool um now i want this to be even if it possibly can be with the way that i've done that i don't know if it can i'm gonna turn where was grid on i forget where grid is there it is all right um so if we what is that skip five spaces and then five spaces i don't think this is gonna be even mm, yeah i don't i don't think that's the right dimension yeah it's not all right cool um wonderful awesome very nice so we're just gonna select these i think yeah, this will be this will be fine if I do it like this. So let's go ahead and actually, what was the select? Was it this bad boy? That's not it. That's just individual cubes. I remember that. This is select. Yes, that is select. But there, there we go. All right, cool, cool, cool. I remember, I remember, I remember. So hold down shift, and we can select all of those, right? Yep, there we go. And then we can move them. Yes, I remember everything, guys. Check this out. Isn't that the coolest thing? You can just move it around like that. Anyway, um, yeah, so this is like, like I said, this canvas is 40 by 40 by 40. So let's make it 40. Is it this way? It's 39. Yeah, it is. Okay, good. Let's make it 39 by 39 by 39 just because just because it's going to bug me if, if they're different sizes. I don't care. All right, cool. So now we have that, so we can go ahead and, and uh, we should be able to uh, da, 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 copy paste. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Copy paste, then we can just hit, keep it in paste, and then we can just move this up like this. Yes, this is what I'm looking for, baby. All right, so we can move that up to about there, I suppose, and then I'll use the line tool. And this is the nope, nope, nope. I got it. Mm -mm. Deselect, select none. And then we use this. Nope, that's still not it. Wait a second. Oh, I'm on the move tool, so that's why. There we go. Okay, so move, and then that's no this. Wait. Oh, that's right. Okay, so attach up here. Attach. Okay, so all of these, yeah, these little icons down here are new as well. So these little, this little line and square and circle. That's pretty neat. That's different. This looks different if I remember correctly. But like I said, it's been a while. Uh, it definitely looks different, but I don't. I just can't remember how different it looks. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um how much it's different rather all right so let's grab the attach and then we'll go to the line tool this is the line tool right yes this is um line tool does not work properly for this though so i'm gonna have to do it like this we'll just extrude all of these pieces like this um yeah and then we'll pull each one of them out like that and actually let me use this tool and then we can pull that out yes genius all right cool and then we can select all of this. I think there's a way to select the entire piece. Yep, there we go. We just click it. We just click it. That's all you got to do. Um, not too difficult. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and add a piece on the uh, ends here as well to make it look like it continues, which is what I want. And then we'll select the whole thing again. We will hit uh, copy, paste, and then we'll move it this way. There we go. Nice little guardrail. Pretty cool stuff. And then the center which I don't believe there is a center now. Um, we're going to do edge. No, no, not edge. Frame. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Frame. We'll do frame, and then we're going to go in the center. So now there's two pieces in the center instead of one. So I'm going to go to the third, uh, third uh, color space, rather, as it were. And then we're going to paint the line. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're going to paint the lines. It's going to be a solid line. Or should I do a dot? I'm going to do a solid because this is like a highway. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, I'm actually going to do like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Much better. Cool, 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 cool. All right. And then I'm also going to do a whitish line, but it's going to be like grayish with a little bit of blue. 
All right, and then this is going to go, I mean, this is kind of accurate, right? Depending on where we are. Well, it doesn't it never goes across like that. It's like always curved. Like maybe there's a turn off here. You know what I mean? So we're going to leave that because I don't, I don't want to do that. That's weird. Um, I will do like this though. Maybe this is turning into an oncoming lane. Nah, forget it. I just like the way it is. Never mind. All right. Um, I want to add a little bit of texture to the street. So I'm going to undo frame and undo grid so I can just have a nice like this, uh, select none. And then we're going to, was there a way to eye drop? Yes, there is. Okay. So I'm going to, I have to select, let me actually go ahead and yeah, copy this. So we'll hit control C on that. Go to another color. Uh, highlight that. Hit control V. Hit enter. And then we'll just darken this color slightly. And then I'll go ahead and use the paint tool um, on the individual blocks. And then we'll just add in some. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, wait. No, that's not the that's not the individual block tool. That's I was wondering why I was doing that. Okay, wait, wait, wait. wait. Which one is the which one's the individual blocks? Is, oh, it's this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, now I wish there was a way to scatter. That would be really cool. Like if we could do a scattered brush instead of having to come in here and just do like this. You know what I mean? Um, but listen, this is fine too. Like I said, I really enjoyed making tutorials back in the day on Magica Voxel. I think this uh, program is awesome. Once again, of course, it's free. Um, yeah, it's absolutely free. Check uh, check on the website. It's uh, if you search Magica Voxel, it'll be like the first thing that comes up, um, and it's absolutely great. I love it so much. It's it's like I said, it's free. It is on Windows and Mac. It is not on Linux, unfortunately, but uh, yeah, it's really really nice, and it works well. You can export over here. You can export to OBJ. Um, Vox is this is great things over here. Of course, you're mostly going to be using OBJ, but still, it's absolutely great. You can save projects and whatnot. And the coolest thing about it is actually the rendering abilities. So let's actually go ahead and with this material, material, I said material. Um, wow, wait, I don't think you could right click these before. Wait a minute, hold the phone. Oh, what's this? That's a little selection box. That's pretty cool. If I delete, no, 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 undo that. <laughs> Control Z. Um, Okay, so I can't like delete the colors, whatever, that's fine. Um, all right, cool. So if we go to render, which is da, 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 up here, um, you can see that it will actually like render it and we can actually use, I like, render an image of it, which is really cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit this little uh, ISO for isometric and then we're gonna put this relatively in the center and we're gonna kind of make this look a little cooler. So I'm gonna use this color, which is the railing. Um, and over here, we can put this on metal um, and then we can turn the roughness either down or up um, and turn the metallic up and whatnot, uh, which is pretty cool, which is pretty cool. So you have a little bit of metallic in there now, which looks really good. Um, and then we can actually grab the street and what would we do for the street? Hmm, interesting. Let's, just, let's what does metal look like? If I do this to make it look like it's wet a little bit, that might be kind of good. Now you can't add like, you know, texture and noise to it like to make pieces of it not reflective um you would just have to have a bunch of different colors like we have the little splotches on the road here and you have to have a bunch of different colors and then have some of them be less rough or more rough than the other colors um so let me actually go ahead and do that same thing with the with the other color um turn metallic up no turn it down never mind <laughs> all right so yeah that looks pretty cool and then with the yellow Maybe I kind of want to make this look like it's emitting a color. That might be kind of cool. Maybe it's like some kind of reflective lights in the ground, which looks pretty nice. Um, I like that. That's pretty cool. Um, now, if I remember right, the turn the intensity of the world down a little bit. There we go. Turn the intensity of the world down over here on the left hand side. We can go to all and there should be an option somewhere. Yeah, Magic of Oxal in uh, 2021. This is this is great. Hope you guys have a great holiday. Hope you had a great uh, New Year's. I uh, can't wait to bring in the new year with a bunch of new tutorials, a bunch of new speed art content, other videos, or whatever else we're going to be doing. But yeah, that's going to be it for today's tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.